Hello, and welcome back to Hourglass Season 2, Episode 11. Uh, for anybody who has very good eagle eyes or is very paying attention, I would like to apologize. I took a week off from videos and uh, it was un unplanned, unscripted. Uh, didn't know about it before, but I just needed a needed some time. Uh, so I didn't get to give anybody a warning, really. Just there was no episode last week. So uh, I do apologize for that, but we it's uh, something that just kind of snuck up on me. Needed some mental health time just to play and talk with people and have fun and not really do the content stuff. So now that I've had like my mental health check-in week, I'm feeling a little better. Um, and I've got a couple of projects that I want to get done. We are standing on the brain of what is going to be our uh, very diverse storage area, our decentralized storage. So what's going to happen is that all of the stuff that is going to be put out in our drop chests out in the or OG storage build is going to come through to this set of hoppers here and it's going to go through all of these slices. So this is a sorting system, a multi-item sorting system by a YouTuber called Rapscallion. Uh, so I will try to remember to leave a link to the tutorial uh, down in the box below. If I forget, please remind me. Uh, because that is uh, who designed this crazy, crazy looking contraption here. I have uh, built a little bit of this. Whoop, I just fell into the... <laughs> okay, we're going to see it here because I can. Uh, I built a couple slices of this that I'm going to show in a little bit. Um, but this big system was built by Orin um, on our server. So it has, uh, I think... 10 slices on both sides or I forget what we decided um but basically what we've got to do is and I worked with Orin to get these first two set up so that I would know the system but each of these items this goes back to those shulkers that we had set up like oh I don't know two months ago where we tried to collect all the items in the, in the game that we wanted to auto sort and so what I've done with these two wood slices I've set the filters so that anytime any of these wood items come through it's picked up it's detected as something that can go into like for example this slice here and then what it does is it goes through this little slice of the contraption uh, it comes down to these hoppers here and then it spits out down below and what we're doing this season that's a little bit different than last season is it's going to line up into these cobwebs here and then it's going to fall down into these water streams. Now I've been mentioning water streams and the multi-item sorter many many times but we actually have these two wood slices are hooked up uh, to go down the tunnels here and I think one of the long-term projects I would like to do is to set uh, each one of these uh, like underground areas, make them thematic. But right now it's just functional. <laughs> it's just uh, going to take up the items. So we have a bubble vader. Uh, yes, okay. I was like, did I remember? Wait, did I? Yeah, okay. I, hold on. Did we get the... I can't tell if that is... Oh, did I mess it up? Okay, no. Ah, this is what I get for taking some time off. I think that soul sand in there. So it's going to go into the bubble vader. It's going to go up into the lumberjack. So all, ouch, all of the wood items I put a single input for. Um, and it's nighttime. It's always nighttime. It's always nighttime. I never look at what time it is before I hit record. Let's uh, take a quick nap real real short real 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 quick ah! <laughs> dang it uh so i had only built one input into the lumberjack storage for both slices so that's going to be something that i think about in future builds um if we need multiple inputs because we have them separated over there so i could have kept them separated but i didn't want to um, reroute my redstone up above so I could have made this another um, full block version here so this is the only consideration I needed to do in order to make sure that the items would all get up because I didn't want them to get trapped on like a 
half partial block. So like this one, if we had run a water column up this one, the items could get stuck on like a partial block. So, oh, hello. Wait a second. Where did those go? Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Are you trying to steal my blocks? He's so grumpy that he's been stuck in there forever. <laughs> Uh, so we've got this one all set up. We did run a test run and the items made it through from where the uh, sorter is going to be uh, working. So this is the OG storage building and this is where we're going to be able to drop items off uh, to be able to have them go to the brains and then sort. So I dropped off some wood stuff in this. It made it all the way through the multi-item sorter and then into the build next door. So that is our big goal. And so one of the things that I've got to do is I've got to take these shulkers from here. So I just grabbed the stone slice one and then there was two for the stone slice two because there's so many variations. And I've got to go set those filters up so that the water streams that come to these chests and that come to these barrels um, all sort. So you'll notice that these are kind of mix and match. The back side of this, let me see, can I, let's see if I can break it. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so the back side of this doesn't have any kind of sorting on it. So what's gonna happen is the lumberjack stuff's gonna come over here and it's gonna have to be manually sorted uh, because there was just so many, oh, uh oh, wait, did I just break something? Ah, dang it. Ah, Zelda, stop breaking things. I could have sworn I heard some. No. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. Uh, but yes. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, I should have taken a week off. Uh, but the stone miscellaneous stuff's going to go into those and then have to be manually sorted. So each of the storage areas is going to operate a little bit different. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and get to work on setting those slices. And then I will bring you back in for the next part of making sure that the decentralized storage is actually functional. We'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and immediately we have oops, a sign in our face, but we have a concern. Uh, let me walk you through a little bit of what this kind of planning stage looked like and then maybe it'll be easier to understand why I can't set the filters at the moment. So here is a mock-up that Orin did that is actually very helpful once you know what you're looking at. So we have our main sorting slice here which is the brains of the operation as I called it and then each of these rail lines going out is is meant to represent the water streams that go to the different storage slices. So here we see the Blackstone, or sorry, the Blacksmith, um, which is going to house all of our ores. And then on the other side of that, we have agricultural items and you'll see stage two uh, end items. Some of these have stages listed. So this was actually a pretty complicated thought experiment to design how we were going to feed all the items from the sorting uh, from the sorting slices out to their storage builds. And so what we laid out was some groundwork for once I had the builds kind of like marked out with wool up top, we decided one main line that would come out and then the storage slices would branch off and go to the different builds. Now, a couple problems that I ran into, I brought over the redstone items so I had set the stone quarry. That's what you saw in the last clip. I had brought those over, got those set up because those are those water streams are already connected. I had set the lumberjack before. So the lumberjack and the stone quarry on this right side of the trunk were set up. And then I brought the redstone stuff over to start um, setting up. And then the next one over was the lighting. However... Uh, there's a concern with the lighting. So let's go down here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here is where we see the corresponding wood slices. These are the two that go out to the lumberjack. And then we see two corresponding stone quarry slices, which I was able to set the filters for. Those go almost just straight in front of us to the quarry that's right there. And then the redstone tinkerer line is already dug and connected to... Ah! when we get down here, it's dug and connected to the build. So this is where the bubble vader is going to go. And then Neomis Electra has the sorting system already prepared up there. So remembering that next um, slice of the prep work, we would presumably follow this line 
and turn right uh, to go up to the lighting. But based on where the builds actually end, the next turn off here is Oceana. And if I turn around, the light storage has to come out on the left side. So instead of me being able to set the filters currently for the first, uh, for the, for each of the slices, first we have to figure out this trunk line and where all of the, uh, water lines are going to go because that's going to change where my filters need to be set. So I've spent some time down here. Let's start let's start with the far end so some of these we were we were certain which order they were going to go in but the water streams weren't connected yet so to prevent trouble of lines over like crossing over each other i went ahead and i'm just going to start from one side and i'm going to go to the other and we're going to decide which order um all of the builds are in out there so the blacksmith which is going to house all of our ores follows around back this way. And also I did this tunnel. I did this digging without torches in my inventory and came back and there was like five creepers and a couple skeletons in here. Uh, so that was a bad idea. <laughs> I should not have done that. But this one comes all the way up to that slice there and this slice here. Now I learned a lesson from my time with the, let's see if I can get out here. Do you, do you think I can get out here? I learned a lesson from my time with the lumberjack in that ouch ouch I went ahead and kept the two sorting slices separate and this is probably a bit excessive I didn't I didn't look at how many items I needed I just lined out a whole bunch of chests and kind of a mock-up system uh pants's build is directly above us I'll show you where we come out in just a minute and I'm gonna let him know that if he wants to design this to match he can otherwise I will come in and set it all as part of the storage organization but the reason why we kept the two slices separate is the hole that I just came up here comes into this bottom level and I'm going to treat this as all of the ores, all of the like coal or coal blocks, iron ore, raw iron uh, blocks. All, that's what's going to go along this side, all of the different precious materials. But then this top slice up here is going to be all the variations of copper because copper, when we were setting the slice, has one slice of all of its own kinds of stuff. So I don't know that we'll necessarily do a multi item or like a impulse item sorter up top. Um, I, I wanted to mock out enough space for it if we want it, but I, I don't know that we need to, for example, separate waxed oxidized or yeah, waxed oxidized cut copper stairs from everything else, uh, or just have you know a couple slices of the main items and then leave a like a randomized like manual sort chest at the end. So we're, we've got some decisions to make here, but we have the waterways and, oh, I should engage my elytra so that I don't smack down. Also, uh, yes, those torches are going, not, not permanent. Those were accidentally placed while I was trying to eat flying down. <laughs> I placed torches instead. Uh, but anyway, so we have the waterways in for the blacksmith for all of our precious ores and mineral and then the next slice over is going to be the nether which this one i have also connected up i believe yes we got these done on the stream a couple days ago so i think i got maybe four or five put in place so this one goes over to where the nether store storage is going to be now this system is again not in place oops uh but glorious wolf has a idea and he's got the room prepared for all the redstone so all I've got to do now is yeah it's this one uh we've got to tell him where his connection point is and so then I think he's going to be able to work from there he was he was holding off so that he would know where the input was coming from we weren't sure if it would come from that side over there or this side down here so now that we have an input for him, I think he'll be ready to hook that up and then we'll get the nether storage items. And this is another reason why I wanted the atmosphere to be better down here. But in thinking all the ways to connect all the water tunnels, uh, it's hurting my brain enough right now, just like the logistics of it. We'll come back and pretty all of this up at some point later in the season. So the next slice here this agriculture and stuff and rails here that we see was originally going to turn off and go that way but 
we need it to do something different. And this is where that end stage two, uh, or the end stuff stage two goes. So that item, that uh, this slice has three different sets of items in it. So this is what I was mentioning when I was talking about the fact that I had built a couple slices of that multi-item sorter myself. It is pretty complicated. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I had a schematic from what Orin did on, on the world so I could get the block placements, but then I was also following the tutorial around, um, or along, I was following the tutorial along because there's actually stuff in most of the barrels uh, to get the correct signal strength. And like the the composter has to be a certain level and the, some of the comparators are in subtract mode and some of them are in regular detect mode. So this was this was a fun whole day experience for myself because I'm not great at redstone. I'm I'm not I'm not the best at it. But because there are three different builds that are coming from this slice because the agriculture, the endstone, and the rail stuff doesn't have enough items to send to one single build. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna separate the items here. So what I already have is the end slice. So yes, the end stuff is going to go through two separate sorters. The agricultural stuff is gonna go through two separate sorters and the rails are gonna go through two separate sorters. But I think in the end, it's gonna be worthwhile because we didn't have to make you know three extra lines coming out of the build we were able to condense it here and then what I have are these dropper systems uh, so if an item comes in it's going or into the hopper it's going to go into this dropper it's going to be detected it's going to power something magical here the sticky piston comes up the observers face each other it spits out the item into this water stream so this stuff is going to be the um <laughs> agriculture stuff. So this goes up and over to a build that Tiny Smushmallow is working on. And then this next water line here, this is the next one, goes out to the, what is this one? Uh, this is the rail line. That's the rail line. And then the final one, this third slice here, um, that has the dropper system on it. This third slice here goes to the end stuff, which is up here that I worked on a couple episodes ago. Um, I'll, I'll try to leave a link in the cards. How about that? What, what, do, what do you guys think of that? That'll be the first time if, if I can do it, if I can do it, it'll be, it'll, it'll show up right now on the screen. Whoa, just like that, hopefully, maybe, Meh, maybe. Um, but you'll notice that we have a fourth uh, slice to this. Now that is because Rapscallion in his uh, tutorial said it's better to build them in even number slices because of the redstone mechanics. So what I did was I'm just not gonna set any filters to this one and it's gonna be our overflow protection for this system. Uh, so if too much stuff or something that isn't correct comes into this, it doesn't make it up to the builds um, is the idea. But in figuring out all of these connection points, um, that was kind of my breaking point because we, oh, of course, <laughs> I gotta get that back. Uh, we are directly on top of the farms <laughs> that I didn't think were going to interfere with anything, but in fact, they actually did. Uh, so I had to, and I want to say a huge thank you to chat because I was really struggling with how to route the water streams and Math Girl came up with the simple solution just bubble vader it up and over so you don't have to cross through the um through the farms and i was like oh yes that 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 makes a lot of sense uh so that's what we did was we bubble vadered this one and then this one was high enough that it doesn't interfere with the farms down below they are one block beneath this uh, so thankfully we were able to figure this out on stream, but then I got a little bit, a teeny tiny bit distracted on that same stream. And I'm going to include a clip of the actual stream, uh, upcoming, uh, like as the next clip in the episode, because I need to show you guys what happened. I got a double kill for assassins. Uh, I was, uh, working on the storage stuff. It was racking my brain. And then I had the perfect excuse to kind of dip out and be like, yo, let's, uh, let's go do some fun shenanigans. So I'm going to roll that clip for you now. I'm going to try and sort out a few more of these. Oops, sorry. I should know better than to jump in tight, close spaces. Um, and I'm going to try and sort out a few more of where all of the builds go, where all the water streams go, and we will be right back. That's not what I meant to do.
Where'd my food go? I was trying to kill with rockets with the... <laughs> it only hurts me though, it looks like. They're not close enough behind me. I've ever been able to fly and shoot. Yeah, that's a fun way to tour spawn, huh? Getting all the all the views. I really think I've I've like target for two people. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. About that, and I'm out of everything. Oh, I missed. an opportunity. What is your opportunity, wolf? <gasps> no! I got wolf! <laughs> and I have no idea what I just picked up. I shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna get gear mixed up now. <laughs> I was going for the head. Firewolf is your assassin. Oh. I want to be by the water. I like being by the water. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get Max. Max just keeps taking off with rockets that I have done. Yes! Yes! Yes, I got them both! Yo, let's go! Yo, let's go! That's not what I meant to do. Where'd my food go? I was trying to kill with rockets with the... <laughs> it only hurts me though, it looks like. They're not close enough behind me. I've ever been able to fly and shoot. Yeah, that's a fun way to tour spawn, huh? Getting all the all the views. I really think I've I've like target for two people. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. About that, and I'm out of everything. Oh, I missed. an opportunity. What is your opportunity, wolf? <gasps> no! I got wolf! <laughs> and I have no idea what I just picked up. 
I shouldn't have done that. I should not have done that. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna get gear mixed up now. <laughs> I was going for the head. Firewolf is your assassin. Oh. I want to be by the water. I like being by the water. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get Max. Max just keeps taking off with rockets that I have done. Yes! Yes! Yes, I got them both! Yo, let's go! Yo, let's go! <laughs> and welcome back. Um, I've got an update for the storage items, but before we get there, I'm gonna stretch my legs and build something. Uh, it's been too long since I actually built something, so I'm gonna take a break from sussing out the storage slices, and we're gonna we're gonna put something down in this area right here. Ready, set, go!
from the time lapse. Guys, we got it done and I know I say it all the time, but it took so much longer than I expected all the time. Everything in this game always takes so much longer than I expect. Uh, you would think someday, someday I would learn to estimate my time a little bit better, but that day is not today. So that's going to be the last thing we get done this week is this build here. Um, I'm not going to return to the storage slices. Unfortunately, I just, I keep having too much else to do. Um, so I'd like to talk through this build just a little bit uh, because I realized when I said I was going to build something in that spot, I didn't really give a good introduction of what the purpose of the build is. So this is our landscaper storage where we're going to store things like the drip stones or not just, i always do that the uh drip leaves the bushes so like all the different types of leaves all of the like the azalea bushes dead bushes leaves um the actual only thing that i used for decoration here that's not going to go into this build is actually the glowberries the glowberries we decided uh go more with farming with agriculture because technically they're consumable um and so I, I guess and sweet berries i use sweet berries too um but like vines and like all the nether stuff is gonna go in here actually you know what why, why, why don't I just show you what's going in this landscaper slice? Uh, that's an easier way to describe it. So all the different dirt variations and the azalea bushes, drip leaf, grasses, vines, all of the nether stuff. And then this is going to have a second runoff also where the sorting slice is going to pass through this build and then go on to another build. So what's gonna happen is any items that is in that sorting slice is going to be sent up the water vader here. So this is where we're gonna feed this one. And then if you saw in the time lapse, we also have an output here. So then this is where the wool's gonna shoot out. So we're probably not gonna put a lot of wool through the system, which is why I didn't mind it going through an entire sorting system before going over to the farm, um, because the bulk of the wool farm is uh, going to be stored directly at the wool. <laughs> so the, the, the stuff that goes in through the sorting system is going to be few and far between. Uh, but let's go ahead and walk through it. I wanted, since it's the landscaper build, I wanted to kind of uh, make it make sense. <laughs> so the big tree is growing through it. Uh, now it does feel a little bit out of place in spawn. Uh, and I think that's mostly just because since we don't have all the builds finished, we haven't done too much work in all the paths and stuff. So as we start to wrap up the last few buildings and spawn, I'm anticipating we're going to get more greenery, more custom trees, more vegetation around so that my big honkin', big big, big, big tree uh, doesn't stand out so much because I think those are like the only couple trees um, and then the stuff that's on the hill. But like all of like town doesn't actually have any anything filling the spaces between the builds. So that's going to be yet another thing we try to tackle uh, in the future. <laughs> so we've got storage, we've got nether tunnels, we've got the end island, we've got the villagers uh, over there and all the stuff still left to do is spawn. Guys, this game just never ends. Never ends. It never ends. Uh, but with that, I think this episode will end because it's already a day late and it's going out perfectly. I guess it's it's meant to be because uh, it's Arbor Day where I live and Arbor Day is all about trees. So here is my contribution to Arbor Day 2022. Uh, the biggest, the big, biggest custom tree that I have ever made to date. So with that... I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and we will see you next week for more from the Hourglass server. Bye! Ouch. <laughs> Perfect outro.